Hey everyone, this is everyone with the ignorant nerds. Hello. Hello. This is. Hey. Oh wow, that was so exciting. <laughs> that yeah. was very exciting. Hello so everyone. Excited. Nah, what's up? We're doing in crowd. Well, we just got done recording a gameplay video, and I'm kind of tired, so. I'm not. And it's 9:30. Hey, snap into it. It's time to wake up. You it's had time to wake crowd. up. You <laughs> had two rock stars. Stop <laughs> All right, well, well, this is the first time that we've all, all been, been together, together, talking together for, I don't know, I think this is the first time that we've all been here with Tyler. I think it yeah. is, because the all first time we did me. it, Nathan was gone, and then when we did it another time on, or like last week when we did David the was video, gone. yeah, David was gone, and so this is everybody. This, this is, is this is momentous. It's we exciting. should take like some, do you want to take a moment of silence? A moment, of silence? Moment, of moment of silence, everybody, moment of silence. Moment of, moment of silence. Shh. Okay, that was a good moment, moment. of silence. You ruined the whole moment. moment. Oh God. Okay, we're done. It's so, over. I'm I'm in. Uh, can I? Can I'm I just, in freaking Texas right now. No, nice. he's gonna go down to see the rooster so. teeth. Why is he in Texas? Because he's awesome. That's what his job does. Oh. Um, I just want to say yeah, really dude. quick, if you guys can give me a sec, I really love our grabbing game that we do every week. <laughs> I, I mean, it's my favorite segment that we do. And I well, just want to say that's, part of that's it. no, that's not. It has nothing. That's it's just ironic. like I love it. I love that segment. It's so much fun. Hey, I, Tyler, that's really, really ironic because I hate it. It's like the least favorite thing. <laughs> that, um, Are you do. serious? No. no. Oh. No. Oh. He's like, I hate what you. I do. hate. I hate the grabbing <laughs> game. I hate everything. I hate all of you it. Guys, like, today, it's all gone. This week has been a momentous week. 100 subscribers. In the nerd world. Not for us. We don't care about us. Oh. This is about the oh. world. This is about everybody else. We've. This has been a huge week. Because we don't week. care about ourselves. First off. Well, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Well, before before you go any further, can I just say something? Yeah. yeah. This has been a momentous week for the ignorant nerds world, too. Yeah, exactly. We finally yeah. hit 100, 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers. Hit 100. Thank you yeah. Yeah. so much for everyone and all of your support. Tell us, tell all of your friends about us so that we, I can pepper spray Taylor in the yeah, face. Yeah, and we get to 300 subscribers. Wait, I thought David was going to pepper no, spray. No, I said it was Paul. Huh? If we get to 300 I've subscribers by the end of December, Paul is going to pepper spray me in the face. Like, it's going to be pepper sprayed in the face. If we get, if we get the 300 Wait, is before it, is that. Wait, is it just me or are we just going to take turns? No, I, no, I, I, no, I don't think just... it should be a turn. Thing. I'm going to go blind. <laughs> I got like 40 people like lining up like, all right, Taylor. I'm like, please, <laughs> don't kill me. Your so eyes are melting out of your skull. If we get to 300 before December, we're going to up the ante to 400 subscribers, and we're going to do something else. We haven't figured it out yet. We're still hoping that 300 comes around. So, something you guys tell everybody. We're up for suggestions. If you guys want to leave comments. In my eyes. What do you say, Paul? If you guys want to leave comments down below of ideas of what we could do, feel free. <laughs> Yeah, comment us. Tell us. For, wait, what did he? Tell tell us the things we could do for 400 subscribers. Reasonable things. I feel like we should party. Reasonable. We need Reasonable. to do. We need to do a 500 subscriber party. Like that's gonna be the milestone. If we, we get do 500 subscribers, we'll throw a party. We'll throw a party. And everyone's invited. We'll, we'll give away an Xbox One. No, we won't. Or whatever current console is out at the time. Not true. Yep, that's if, what we're gonna if you do. Buy, I'll, yes. I'll afford. I'll buy. I'll buy an Xbox One or whatever. To give, okay. Yeah. The there current it is. console is. Tyler I will, will give for away for 500 subscribers. I'll give away an Xbox One. Like there that's gonna be. Can I? Can I? Can I be there to win it? No. Like, no, no, no. I, I want an Xbox None of the high end crew can win. Paul wins the Xbox One. <laughs> That's like Dwight in the office, like, I am the Hey King. Like, have you seen that episode? No. You don't want. Damn. Nobody gets that joke. I'm the awkward kid. I just kid. don't remember. Oh, have you, when he makes the hate. I'm we should, we should move on. Dude, though. That, that joke was about as dumb as your grabbing game. Oh. 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 Wait, I'm a part of grabbing game. Right. Oh, <laughs> so we, should, we should move on. Okay, well, thank you for subscribing, by the way, everybody. We love you. Yes. Watch our grabbing game and win Xbox games. Watch all of it's our my games. favorite. You should watch Rose. That's my favorite to watch. <laughs> Why is that one your I favorite? I love the Dude, you just crack me up, like, watching you play. Like, your facial expression is just like, what are you doing over here? Like, <laughs> what? Why did I this watched that part. Yeah, that did make me chuckle. Why aren't you making chuckle. an ocean? That like, did make me chuckle a little bit. <laughs> so, like, let's move this guy okay. over here. Big news. Sakura Itawa died. Who? President of Nintendo. Yeah, nobody cares. Every, yeah, everybody that was knows really that. sad. Yeah, so it was a big thing. Was everybody really sad about that? He's, I am. He's sad. been the biggest name in, like, 
game console since so game no console idea. became a thing. He only yeah, became. He started on Nintendo. He poor, he's only becoming. Well, why, my why life it was partially at the moment he died? Like, he died. I didn't even so know young. who he was. The guy was 55 yeah, yeah, years old. He was old. only 55 serious? years old. He died unexpectedly. Like, yeah, he was. What did he die of? It was a Lack bowel of blockage. Lack of. What was that, Paul? It was like a blockage. Oh. Blockage. So yeah, like an unexpected and thing. So, like, like he a was poop eating blockage. <laughs> like which was which possible, end yeah. was blocked? Build up and which <laughs> which end was blocked? Like the top end mess. or the bottom end? The attic or the basement? Well, moment moment of respect for possibly the person who made video games the way that they are today. Yeah, I mean, because without without Nintendo, we can pretty well say that there would be no PlayStation, there we, would be no Xbox. <gasps> we discussed that last week. Gaming would not be in the position that it's in today. Agreed. I mean, Nintendo Agreed. really started everything for everybody. I mean, they are the forerunners it, for <gasps> our generation. The fo like from Halo. The forerunners from Halo? I hate you. The forerunners from Halo. Sort of. Still hate wow. You. Except not douchebags. <laughs> Did you watch that cinematic? No, they... They they really like I mean because gaming got started you know with like the Atari and different things by that but really Nintendo's really the company that really brought it into the light and he losing him I'm not sure what it's gonna do to Nintendo as a company I'm not sure um, what what this means for their future um, probably a better but one but as like, I've said before I'm always gonna be a Nintendo geek yeah I mean I'll always I love them. Nintendo. Like, even though they've done stupid stuff, I've always loved Nintendo. I mean, I'm sad that he's dead. I'm sad that it's uh, he's gone now. But it's the same token. It's like, if he had the manipulative control that I like, kind of think he had, then maybe Nintendo will be able to push into a different direction. They'll get a new light and kind of and maybe save head in a the different company. direction. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this this afternoon, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, because I feel like... If, the going if, they, the if they stay in the direction they're, they're going, going and the NX continues to fall into place, like As the, the Wii, Wii U and stuff that like that, horrible. then they're going to just tank in the next 20 years. What were they thinking? Years, so. What were they thinking when they... But so if they, with the new leadership and prog pro um, whatever in charge, I don't know, maybe they'll get into a, a better direction. Yeah. Maybe it'll launch them. Maybe it'll be something really, really good. One can only hope that it... That Nintendo will recover from this and grow and become better because of it. Yeah. So, but here's yeah, the it's, it's a sad thing that happened. We loved you, man. What do you always say? You did awesome. One for my homies. One for some for my homies. <laughs> some for my homies. Uh, <laughs> in better news, though, we yeah. have What's better news? now seen the what? release, the reveal better than of Jared Leto's Joker. You guys, what do you think about that? <laughs> He's that pretty good. I thought he's that pretty good. I think. You think? Maybe. Yeah. Why do you say that? I. What I okay. think. I, well, it only showed us like five seconds of him. I mean, sh sure he's showing like. He's right. The classic Joker, but like mixed with the. The newest one from like the Dark Knight, but like. I don't know. It's yeah, it's hard to tell right now. He is more well, I, I completely, that's for sure. I'm with Nathan. I'm, I don't think we know a lot. Sorry, what? I was going to say I completely agree with you. I think a lot of people are getting caught up in comparing him to Heath Ledger, which isn't fair. Well, that's exactly what completely... everybody did with Jack Nicholson. As soon as Heath Ledger came in, they're like, he'll never be Jack Nicholson. Well, he's not trying to be. Wait. Did they? S yeah. Was right. Jack Nicholson this is, good? This is a completely different good? Joker yeah, than what we like saw with Heath the, Ledger. The Joker. But I what I'm, I am I've excited about though, this so. Joker and these movies um, that DC is kind of taking on the Batman vs. Superman and the Suicide Squad is both of them seem to be pushing in the direction of comic book. Yeah. The yeah. Joker that we're seeing in the trailer is very comic book-esque. Yeah. He had and that glove. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. He had that glove. David, do you have any input? You have had no input. <laughs> it looked really good. Are you still eating cookies? <laughs> da no. David's really just over there eating good. cookies. He's like, this is nice. <laughs> Love cookies. Nerdy stuff. Nom, 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 nom. Grabbing game. Nom, nom, nom. I want to Grabbing game? Taylor in the face. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, you get to kick off Deadpool then. Go! <gasps> so, there's this <laughs> crappy video that you can't really see anything, and you can kind of hear things. <laughs> 
and it was Deadpool, and there was and definitely that. like five f bombs, and I want to see it. And then, yeah, it was like <laughs> and, and there's, there's a tall and, guy standing in front of the video the whole time yeah, too. That yeah, he's like trying to reach yeah. over to at, see the at screen. At one point, at the very last point, which almost seemed like a pivotal point in the preview, someone like stands just right in front of the screen. <laughs> and like, is that, does like, that really happen? Like, what the shit's going on? And then all of a sudden, he moves, and Deadpool's like standing over a bunch of dead bodies. And like, son of a bitch! Did that really happen? That really <laughs> that's, that's why I'm not gonna yes. watch those crappy Comic Con videos. No, no, what? No, it'd be, it no, it'd so be even funny. I watched the very beginning, and I was like. like because well, I thought it was going to be the it HD version, and, it is Deadpool. and I watched and he's the very like, beginning, Sorry, and then there was just a bunch of people. I was just watching the video. I was like, oh, this is just Comic-Con. <laughs> that would be I don't super epic. This. What was that? What did we do? Who did we just lose? Uh, did we lose somebody? So what were we at? We were at Deadpool, right? <laughs> let's, let's get yeah. back to Deadpool. I thought we'd gotten over that. Okay. Like, it was shitty, and nobody needs to watch it. You no, are dumb. Well, the movie itself looks fantastic. No, the movie looks good. Yeah, the movie's going to be great. I mean, it looks like they've really done a good job in capturing his character. And just the just the final little scenes of that trailer where he shoots the three guys with one bullet and then smells his guns and he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm touch touching myself, myself tonight. tonight. And, <laughs> wait, what? That was He said he's Stop like, telling yeah, me. Yeah, I'm gonna I don't touch know. myself tonight. <laughs> Dude, this is your own fault. You're you like, have to be oh, educated on this shit. I don't want to watch. No, it's I don't want. It's too wanna, bad, dude. No, no, if here's you're part the thing. Of the podcast, you here's have to the, be educated. So you the, can talk about here's it. Here's the thing. I don't want to watch trailers because they all ultimately ends up ruining the movie. Because they put all of the funny parts in the trailer, and I go and watch it. And I'm like, well, I've seen all these that's, funny parts. Like that's that's see, it. That's like, totally I've fine with me because if I laugh during the trailer and then I go into the movie, I'm gonna laugh again. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not. Like, plus you're part of a podcast. You have to be educated, dude. I've seen it. Like. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> oh, whoops. I don't know what that is. Well, maybe if I was a petri dish. maybe if I was told more than an hour, like more than five Dude. minutes before the podcast, what we were talking about. I told you to download I would Appy research Geek, it. man. But or, man, you, or you could look at our Google chat once in a while. That's where we talk well, about. You guys, you guys, you guys are you like guys, a married couple. When I when Let's I get on, on something cool, I, I get on my phone and it's just like. Just, just follow every now and then. That's all I do. That's literally Well, I can't because my I, my stupid f goddamn iPhone. Every now and then I just <laughs> look at it and then I ignore it. Tyler, did you say you have an iPhone? Yes, I have an iPhone. Oh. Are you oh yes, I know. You don't have to oh. tell me that I... You don't have to tell me it's bad. <laughs> it talk about I an hate ignorant my, he, nerd. He hates this iPhone. I like, hate he, it. I'm constantly... He tells me every day. He's like, I hate this thing. It doesn't do anything. And I'm like... Mur. And we were just talking about... like he. Cause we have like how many people on a call, and he's like scrolling through apps, and doing all this crazy stuff <laughs> he's with like, the phone, my and he's like, explode. my iPhone would just, just detonate <laughs> if I tried to, if I even tried to do half of the things he was doing on his phone at that same time. Like, oh. I, yeah, and you have like the S3, right? No, the no, four. Not even the, like no S. I have just, the S4. That's my Galaxy though. He has. Oh, the, yeah, the S4. He has the iPhone. Just the plain four. I don't even have the shitty Siri either. It's just. <laughs> Like, no, he Siri has the, He has the iPhone I had. <laughs> it's pretty much an iPod Touch, but less cool. <laughs> oh is, an iPhone, is an iPod Touch cool? Is, are those cool, hey, David, still cool? I how's your hand? My hand is still... Oh, it's ready. Cut it in that video, wound. didn't he? That Bowie, <laughs> that Bowie knife. With Tyler cut his shin open on my back. Oh, yeah! Like, crazy. Dude, when we were setting up for the grabbing game, I... Like, I, w I was, I can't remember what I was doing, but I stepped in and it just like, I, for some reason decided to karate kick the side of Taylor's bed. It is the nasty. It's a gnarly spice. looking cut. And I tried to dab up the blood, but it just kept bleeding. I've been trying That's to rip broke. it open. It's fantastic. Okay. So the other trailer that came out during Comic-Con, back to, back to subjects, is the Batman vs. Superman trailer. Oh my poop. Is it a surprise that I didn't watch that one either? No, I hate you. I watched you. the Suicide, no, I watched the suicide, watched the suicide Squad. Tyler, you're so useless. No, I, I watched it like two days. I watched it like two days ago. David absolutely hates you. <laughs> okay, so to break down the trailer, it it's looks like they're following amazing. the comic book, The Dark Knight Returns, pretty closely with um, Batman deciding to humble Superman. A couple of things I noticed. In the background, there was a, j a uniform in b the Batcave that was red that had Joker's writing all over it. Yeah, it kind of shows I'm taking the assumptions 
that that is Robin's costume, or and that they're Queen. following the comic books, and that Robin was brutally murdered with a crowbar by the Joker. Could it have? And could I'm it, guessing. Could it potentially that's be a takes, Robin knockoff like Nightwing or Red Hood or whatever? It could be, but either way, Jason Todd is Red Hood, and he's the one that gets killed by the Joker. So it, it and, could potentially be Red Hood then. It could be, yeah. And so, either way, it looks like they're following that comic where he gets killed, and that possibly could be what pulls Batman out of the game. And yeah. then Batman's Wayne Tower being destroyed by General Zod and um, Superman's little battle down in the Man of Steel is possibly what pulls him back into the game. It, this banner or this Batman is Bruce Wayne, right? Yes. Okay. Wait, wouldn't it be? Is there another Batman that's not Bruce? Yeah, Wayne? there's a couple of different Batmans. Yes. Yeah. Like, is Batman there a, Beyond. Is there a black Batman? No, only, nope. only a black Spider-Man. Yeah. Well, black Spider-Man's <laughs> awesome. Which, by the There's way, they finally Lee have Lanzer. cast the new Spider-Man. And, and he's like black? A, no, he's like a 14-year-old kid. So I well, s still am sad that they didn't just roll with Andrew Garfield. I really liked Andrew well, Garfield. They, I enjoyed they, him. They can't because um, Marvel has the rights to And it, they don't do like it, him. And Sony I, won't let him have it. I've talked to so many yeah. people who hate the Andrew I, Garfield I understand Spider -Man. why they did it. I'm just it just kind of makes me sad. Yeah, I mean, I didn't hate him. I didn't love. Him. I really, I, I preferred Toby because that's the Spider-Man I grew up with. Is mm -hmm. the, the not the Amazing Spider-Man, just like Spider-Man, you know. And Andrew Garfield yeah. was more the Amazing Spider-Man. And so when I first saw it, I was kind of like put off. Like I was like, this is great, but it's like, not what I was used to. But. I'm excited with what the the angle they're going with this nuke, and I can't remember his name, but he looks like he's gonna do a pretty yeah, good job. He's a young guy. Yeah, he's he's a young yeah. guy. They're playing off of the fact that he's still in high school. Yeah, is this following Ultimate think, Spider Man or? I'm not sure, but um, he's he's high school he's high school age Peter Parker. Yeah, <laughs> he's not um, graduated or anything like that. Which is cool. I think that's the right. I think that's Spider Man. Yeah, I, I think, think that's, that's cool. it. It's going to be an interesting yeah, dynamic for sure when they throw <laughs> him in with a cast of adults. You know, can you imagine a teenager having a one-on-one exactly. -on -one conversation with Tony Stark? You <gasps> know, they, that isn't ridiculous. That's, that is, I didn't think but, about that. He'll probably be the new yeah. Avenger. Is that the same Spider-Man that's going to be in Civil War in the third Avenger movie? Yeah. So oh, you're, you're wow. talking about a teenager that's going to be competing on the same level as Thor, Iron Man, or, Captain which America, I guess, all these, like... 30 year old guys and he's like this 14 year old kid or or there's 30 year old guys trying to compete on the level of spider-man <laughs> that's what's gonna be happening <laughs> Drum roll, because we all know spider-man's the coolest superhero so yeah the, the superman versus batman trailer holy cow when batman stands up out of his batmobile and just looks at superman i was like Kick his ass. Like, kick his ass, Steve <laughs> ass. <laughs> like, I'm, predicting, I'm predicting that that's the scene where they actually become friends. Really? Oh. Yep. Like they shake hands. Because he, the, the part where Batman really beats the crap out of Superman is when Batman's on the roof with the light wearing the suit. I thought he killed and Superman. And that, that scene... With a, huh? I thought he killed Superman. No, he doesn't kill him. He just beats the crap out of him. Wait, how? And then it, if they oh, which which makes me really really hopeful because if they follow the comic book exactly, Batman says the most epic line to Superman ever. After he beats the living snot out of him, he grabs him and he's like, "Clark, I want you to remember in your darkest, most private moments. I want you to remember when you're alone, the man who beats you." And you're like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> if Batman's like, he does have some mean lines, I'm gonna but be honest, he's kind of a bamf. I thought that Batman, now this is all hearsay because I don't pay attention to anything, um, mm -hmm. but I thought that Batman had a kryptonite bullet that he shoots Superman with. There, there's, there's several different renditions where Batman has to take on Superman, and there's several where he uses kryptonite, like, in like for instance... Um, yeah, Injustice, and then in um, Hush, the comic book series, he has a kryptonite ring that he fights him with. That's and right. then in this one, though, it looks like he's going to be sporting a suit that's kind of like an Iron Man suit. Yeah. yeah. And that's what he sported in the comic book as well, because he's an older Batman. And so the difference between Batman and Superman in this one is Batman is a lot older and wiser than Superman is, and so he beats him using, like, emotions and tactics and, just and being, stuff yeah, like that. Understanding the Isn't fight, Superman, basically. like, a thousand years old, though? No. Is who? 
I thought the Superman was like a billion years old. No, he's not. Like no, a no, super Superman's ager. like he's not like thirties. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Oh. He's just a guy. So I have a question. He, he, yeah. And since you're you're the Green Lantern guy, aren't you? I like him. Um, well, I, but I, like I Sinestro. love Astro. But yeah. Okay, so if can Green Lantern imagine Kryptonite and make it, and kill Superman? Like, can that be a thing? It's no. Um, it, it it's happened. He imagined um, he made Kryptonite with his super ring. Yeah, like he could he could create. There's. Green Lantern's the best you, superhero. You in the have world. to you have to remember that in certain stages in comic book history, especially during like the Bronze Era, um, superheroes could do a lot of different things, and they really questioned the lines of their powers. Yeah, they literally could do. Um, I they, mean, Superman was curing cancer with kisses. <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> yeah, that's real. Well, no, he was he Superman during that's... the Bronze Era was moving planets. Like yeah. he could he could move a planet. What's bron What's the Bronze and, Era? Just like and uh, like the 60s. flash, the flash was going so fast that he was like warping through dimensions and time and could do all this nut stuff. And the Green Lantern was doing all this crazy stuff. And they had a DC tone. really had to collect them. Like whoa, using... whoa, 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 everybody! We're making gods. Like... <laughs> These guys are unbeatable, and the whole point of a story is to make like a so conflict. Yeah. yeah, we've created gods. All the all the all the supervillains are like. Um, like, you win, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like white yeah. flags. It it got a little out of control, but Marvel went through the exact same thing. I mean, when, I mean, Phoenix was moving planets too at one point in time. She got ridiculous. Phoenix? Yeah. Oh, Phoenix. And, yeah, I know Phoenix. And Sentry is yeah. still that strong. He just doesn't use his powers. Sentry is he a Marvel or DC? Marvel. But is, oh, is he but yeah, guy? so Green Lantern, it, I've heard it happening before where he Superman. did the whole, like, Pretty created strong. radiation, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember from where. I'll have to do research. Maybe I'm wrong. But um, I would like to say um, that that's not something that he can generally do. Um, well, we're actually about out of time anyway. Let's hurry oh. and talk about the Unreal Engine real quick. We'll just touch on <gasps> the that. The Sonic thing. I actually watched this, you guys. So, in the, <laughs> E3, in the E3, Nintendo made a quick comment. They literally were like, NX, and then they moved on. We talked about it last, last podcast. Times, yeah. But oh. they've just revealed some videos. Paul found the videos. I found a picture of Mario a couple weeks ago, and then Paul found the videos. Or it was David I found the video. Videos. David. Whoa. David. Yeah, no, Easy. I didn't find these videos. David Easy. found the videos. You guys are all really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and sent it out, and it's it's awesome. It's Sonic running Kay. through, like, real-looking grass. David, and there's who deer. made those videos? Was it officially Nintendo? No, those are user-made. Yeah, so I still am leery about them. I mean, so I have things. high hopes. They look awesome. But until Nintendo releases something officially, uh... that's a fair assumption. Yeah, I guess that's a that's good. That's fair. That's a fair point. But I mean, it's the possibility that this could be really cool. But wait, who would go out of their way to make like any fanboy? A lot really of people. Do you oh, yeah. think so? Do you think oh, it's I that easy to do? Yes. Well, if you, if you know yeah. how to do it, yeah. I mean, people make animations for famous people all the time. Yeah, it looked like that was being controlled by a person, so that would have been a game. I guarantee you they could have somebody done it. took it. Wow. Yeah. All they had That's to do some, was make a world guys, and then import a character. You guys are dedicated. Yeah. That's all I have to say. They, they, they I can, do that I can with barely Skyrim put an stuff image. all the time. I can barely put with an image stuff? in HTML. <laughs> they, can, they do that kind of crap with, like, Skyrim. Yeah, it could be. All I'm saying is it could be user-created. But either way, whether Nintendo, whether this is real or whether it's not, I hope Nintendo's paying attention to how how these are being loved by their fans. Yeah, this how should they could be, be awesome. Yeah, this is this should be something that Nintendo should look at and be like, oh, they like this stuff. Maybe we should make something like this. They won't. Think I mean, yes, Nintendo's should, Nintendo. never done That's that a ever. Smart idea. Could you imagine Zelda that was like Skyrim? Yeah, they're like, making one, they, but even better. But no, but better than that. If it runs like, on the NX just, the on graphics, Unreal Engine and it had the graphics uh, that, that Unreal could run, but it was Zelda. They like. they had something like that in the works way, way back in the day. Um, before the Wii came out, they released a, a trailer for a Zelda game that was super high-end graphics, um, yeah. like really pushing the limits of graphics. And it was the first time that Ganondorf pulled out his double tree sword. Um, I don't know if you... If this was years and years and years ago. Everyone flipped out, and then they pulled out with the Wii, and we never saw that project ever again. 
It's because it couldn't run on anything but the GameCube, obviously. <laughs> well, no, it, it never came out. It, yeah. Like, it was just a trailer. It was just a thought. But So that would be cool. Like, could, like Zelda, like, if you were Link walking around in an Unreal Engine, like, created world where everything looked real, and then, like, because you could make Link look more realistic. Like, do the cartoon realism and just make him look like but a badass. I've, I've read different spots where, like, they're trying to do two different things. Like, they're doing a realistic Link. Like, the Twilight Princess was a little more realistic, but then the... Um, uh, like Phantom Hourglass and stuff like that are a little cartoony. Like there's like two yeah. kind of well, like I two mean, universes saying, where they're with trying the to NX. They could make you it. You think they're really gonna make legit. that realistic part a lot more realistic? Oh, I don't know, but like it would be awesome if they do. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This I is agree. all just if. It's I have like, high hopes for the NX, but I'm not gonna put any of those hopes out because I've been disappointed by Nintendo lately, and I don't want to yeah. get my heart broken every time. Honestly, I thought the Mario one looked weird. Like I was, like, it was cool. But it was, I don't know, it was weird. Like, for some reason, Sonic felt better to see in real life. Watching Mario run around in a real world like that, it just felt odd. It it was almost... He's not 2D anymore. Well, it was almost too comical. Like, because they put this obvious cartoon character you know, that's real, a human into this real world. It's kind of so like was, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was just too, too satire, I guess. I don't know, it was weird. So maybe that's... Yeah. Like, maybe then it's really not Nintendo doing this, and it's just some fanboy. I don't know. I mean, maybe they, they say well, they're going to run it what, in real, what this so. could be, what they could, What this could be is test footage, like, where they have an already rendered world, like a real world that's already been rendered. Well, that's and, then they st and then all they have to do is just render a character and shove them into that world and see how it works. That's kind and of so what it's it not like. actually how the game is going to be, it but they're just like seeing that. how if the graphic processor can handle something like this. Yeah, and that's what it looked like. I mean, if you looked at the ground, there was no interaction with water or mm -hmm. grass or even the wildlife. Like, it was just like he was running around this yeah, thing. Yeah, they're probably really, really fast. And if and it's then he real, like, they're probably just testing out processors and graphics and seeing yeah. if, what it, if uh, yeah. we could have a movable character in a world that looked like this. Yeah. Hey, which I hope it is true. I have yeah. one other thing I wanted to mention in our podcast. Yeah. Prime Day sucked. What? What did? Prime Day. Prime Day. <laughs> AKA Amazon garage sale. Oh. No one no one in the world is happy. I've not read a single good comment what? or positive feedback on Prime Day. Yeah, you guys Okay, are so I'm going to do a shout out to Philip DeFranco here. He's another YouTuber. I love watching his stuff. Go and check him out. Philip DeFranco. Yeah, I know. I've, um, I've seen but, him. I love him. But what, his comments were the best where he was like, he was like, I thought the deals were great. I bought like a 50 gallon drum of lube. Like, it was, it was <laughs> awesome. I bought like a pencil sharpener. <laughs> they can sharpen markers. <laughs> yeah. It's like, he like, was like, it was so it? dumb. He was like, really like they had three good sales they're like guess what this tv for a thousand dollars everybody's like wow and then there was like everything else is like pencil sharpeners and pots and <laughs> and random crap that nobody wanted they advertise one good thing but it's like there's only one in stock <laughs> yep Thanks, yeah that, that was the biggest issues there was a couple that i was like you know that's a decent deal i'll, I'll click go and it was gone yeah yeah, yeah. Between the time it took your mouse to click but, to go down but, and then back up, they were all sold out. There's one really yeah. happy person out yeah, there that got it. No, they're, they're like, sweet. yes. But it's that it. one guy that wins all the other like prizes and stuff on all the game shows. It was stuff. it was dumb, and there were some sales where things were only like a penny off. Yep. Instead of being, you know, whatever, and it's fair. It was it was ridiculous. That's and so the saddest part about it was is Walmart who decided that they were going to like follow up with this like 2 days in advance came up with better sales than Amazon did. True. That's ridiculous. That's just retarded. Yeah, it was basically Amazon saying we're going to clean house. We're going to get rid of all the crap that we don't have space for. Well, good well good job Walmart for taking advantage of Amazon's screw up. Um Game my hats off to Walmart on that situation. Like, yeah, for real. Like, they're like, hey, you want to know a website that's screwing up? Amazon. Let's capitalize. Like, Well, they, they had no idea that the Amazon was going to screw up. They just were like, hey, Amazon's having a giant sale. We should have a giant sale, too. And they just happened to get lucky that Amazon's sales sucked. Yeah. yeah. Sad. But, 
Yeah. That's depressing. I don't yeah, even, it was so it was kind of depressing. Just a crazy Amazon. Sale I was kind of sad because I was looking for it. I had a ten dollar Amazon gift card that I got from SlideJoy. Mm-hmm. Review of that to come, by the way. <laughs> um, and I was so excited to spend it, and I literally could not find anything I wanted to spend ten dollars on. That sucks. You didn't want a pencil sharper in the shape of a Ninja Turtle where you stick it in his butt? I was, <laughs> I was tempted to buy a fifty gallon drum of lube. Of well, lube. So, <laughs> who, who doesn't so, need 50 <laughs> gallons of lube? You'll be set for and life. In the words of Philip DeFranco again, either for like a slippy slide <laughs> or for for like butt stuff or... <laughs> this is a heated... Butt a heated stuff? heated for her pleasure slippy slide. Mm, yum. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. <laughs> it oh smells like strawberries. <laughs> Little kids are like sliding. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> you just you just made it even worse than we, it needed to we be. Took it too far. Oh, like there's too the edge, far. and we're gone. Like, oh. oh god. And and on that bombshell. <laughs> bombshells in Let's call the like, to a close. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you again for getting us to 100 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> like and subscribe down below. Leave us some links. comments. We like we like interacting with you guys. Right you, we think you're pretty cool. Or, or it'll just be there. I'm going to put a link right I here think over you're cool. Tyler. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> okay, right. well, have a good one. Bye. 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 <laughs> the original Profe- Professor Don't Doctor. Don't settle for imitators of <laughs> Professor Doctor. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like like a poorly animated naked female to scare the shit out of Taylor. Yeah. (laughs)